Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Larry Snow and in this video we're going to be learning about UTM builders or sometimes called the Google URL builder. And we're also going to talk a little bit about Google Analytics, tying those two together, tying the UTM builder or the Google URL builder and how it appears in Google Analytics. Now, before you all go running off because you're scared to death of an analytics and statistics, <laughs> I'll go easy on you, trust me. So that's coming up. All right guys, I'm over here on Google Analytics. Now I am not gonna be going into it right now with Google Analytics. I wanna back up a little bit and talk about what a UTM builder is or sometimes it's called a Google URL builder or UTM tracker. And basically what it does is it puts a bunch of code at the end of a URL that tells Google what it is, what the campaign is, and there's a source and there's a medium and there's a whole bunch of um, fields that you can put in. Actually, let's just take a look at the campaign URL there from Google. Now, if you want to get to this, it's a big long uh, URL. It's not UCM tracked. But it is a big long URL. I'm going to put it down in the description for you. You can go take a look yourself. But basically what Google does here for you is it outlines it exactly what you need to have a custom campaign. Now a custom campaign from a marketing and social media standpoint is I have a URL, uh, your latest blog post, and I'm going to put it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google+, uh, Instagram. I'm going to put it all those places. Well, what this URL builder does, it allows you to track how well you did in all of those places. So I can create a tracker for, or a campaign tracker for uh, all of those places, and I can do it all through this interface. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go through these fields uh, rather quickly, but you, I think you can understand these pretty well. The first thing you do is you want to put in the actual post URL. The thing that you're going to try, the thing you're going to track uh, and do this campaign for, right? The campaign source is where is it going to go? Is it LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, any of the social medias, or even maybe a newsletter? You could say newsletter, right? And then the campaign medium is what kind is it? Uh, is it a LinkedIn page or a LinkedIn update? Or is it going on your LinkedIn page, your company page? Or is it a LinkedIn post? Is it a Facebook update, Facebook post? Is it a tweet? Is it a Twitter ad? So that's where your medium comes in. Campaign name is where you can be descriptive of what it actually is. I usually try to condense the title of the blog post. That way when it shows up in Google Analytics, I, I can uh, quickly find where it is. The key with campaign source and campaign medium is that you have to be Consistent. If you want to call it LinkedIn with a capital L, then going forward, you got to call it LinkedIn with a capital L. You switch it down to a lowercase L, Google Analytics thinks it's two different things. So be consistent with campaign source and campaign medium. Campaign name could be anything. And then there's campaign term and campaign content. And I don't really uh, play around with those too much because uh, I don't really do... Um, I haven't really found the need yet to to go into campaign term and campaign campaign content, but if you need to use those, those are there. And then uh, Google has a nice explanation down the bottom here. And once you fill all this out, your URL will be generated right here, right? And then you take that URL, and then that's the one that you mark it out on that specific channel. So I would go through here a couple of times. I would go here once for LinkedIn, once for Twitter, uh, once for Facebook, and then I'd get all those different URLs, and then I'd push them out into those specific social media networks. Make sense? And then over on Google Anal Analytics, I'll be able to determine how successful those campaigns were. Now, there are a lot of URL builders out there. Uh, it's not unique that Google... Uh, you can only have to use Google's. And I came across one called Effin Amazing. <laughs> E-F-F-I-N. And uh, they've been really great. I actually purchased their um, 
pro version, if you will. They do have a free version. Uh, the pro version allows you to connect to Google Sheets. And so it has a nice, so you have storage of all of your campaigns that you've ever done. I think we're well over 100 or so now. And it uh, connects to your bit.ly as well, B-I-T-L-Y, which is the link shortener. So you don't have that long string of text that you have to copy and paste every time. So I'm just going to show that to you really quickly. And then we're going to get into Google Analytics and talk about what we see there. Okay. With me so far, I mean, this isn't that bad, is it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below or if you're like totally lost right now, Larry. All right, so we're going over to F and Amazing. Now, F and Amazing has a, a couple of extensions. That's where I found it. Uh, F and Amazing UTM Builder. So that's that urchin tracking module. I think that's the official title of it. And so you install it on a Chrome extension. I don't know if they have it on uh, Firefox. So you uh, install it, you click on Add to Chrome, and it pops up over here in your browser, top right browser. And I have it right here. It looks like a little window with a uh, magnifying glass on it. You click on that. And you can see that I already have my, my last campaign. It was Instagram desktop. So I sent off a link to my Instagram profile with this particular campaign. And uh, just for an example, uh, it is Instagram desktop, YouTube, YouTube video, and it's the medium is the YouTube video. So that has to stay consistent, right? So if I were to create another YouTube video link, it would be called YouTube video. That way I can get a statistical heap of data just for YouTube video. And the source has to stay the same. So, so I always know it's YouTube, right? The campaign can be anything, Instagram desktop. And again, I don't use term content and uh, FN Amazing actually has a little note section. So you can say, uh, you know, this link went here, that type of thing. So once you have all your stuff in there, uh, you click on configure bit.ly. You can do that too uh, if you have a bit.ly account. And, and here's the save to Google Sheet I was talking about. So in this example, just because it's on the Chrome extension, you'll see here it has uh, UTM source equals Chrome, ba, 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 UTM underscore medium, YouTube. So there's my YouTube video. Uh, my campaign is Instagram desktop. My source is YouTube. And then I would copy that short URL just with a click of a button. And I'll say, all right, we got it. Thanks. And by the way, it's also saved your Google Sheet. Anytime I need a history of it, I can go back and get it. Then I take that URL and then I would uh, construct a, a social post for that and off it goes. And that's how that works. Uh, one of the other features that FN Amazing does have is it uh, allows you to have presets. And you just click down here and click on add preset. It'll give out all the things that you wanna have, uh, the campaign, the medium source. Now for me, I change the campaign name all the time. Uh, but medium source are always the same. So I could put in a uh, Facebook post, for instance, and then the source being Facebook, right? Makes sense. And then I give it a title, Facebook, just so I know when I select the preset, I know it's for Facebook. All right, so that's a quick look at F and Amazing. And there are others, um, you know, do, do your due diligence and look for, uh, see if you find other ones. And if you do, post them in the comments below and uh, I'll take a look. Um, but I'm very happy with F and Amazing. Now we come towards the end of our video and we are over on the analytics portion. So much, so much to learn over on, and I'm still learning about Google Analytics. Uh, what you want to do when you want to track, uh, once you get your campaigns all set up, you want to go down here. We go to acquisition. That's where we're going to check out our campaigns. We go to acquisition. We go down to campaigns and we click on all campaigns. Here's the campaign. So you can see that my campaign names are descriptive of what the actual post is, right? So this was a 2017 survey. Sumo shares is our uh, social uh, 
plugin, our social share plugin on our website. So we get a lot of social social plugin shares <laughs> from our website, uh, which take the majority, uh, 65% of our sessions. So let me just pick one. Let's actually pick uh, security driving is not marketing. I can click on that. And it'll say LinkedIn, LinkedIn update. So that is your source. That's the LinkedIn and then the medium LinkedIn update. That's what I'm calling my medium and that's what I call my source. Those do not change just as a reminder. But what I can do, let me just go back one more and just go back to where we were. And the fun thing with uh, Google Analytics is that you can do a secondary dimension, which means give me another slice of the pie and attach it to this pie. All right, I'll show you in a second what that means. So if I click on secondary dimension and I say acquisition and give me source and medium, Okay, so now we have two slices of the pie looking at each other, you know, combined. So security driving is not marketing, is a LinkedIn, LinkedIn update. And so I can see it all in one row, right? Uh, whereas if we were back over on this page, I'd be just looking at security driving is not marketing. And I wouldn't know the source unless I clicked on source. So it's all individual things. But by combining them together, I get to see a fuller picture. So let's do that again. Go to campaign, secondary dimension, acquisition. Now you could search through here and see source and click on source and medium. And that again gives us the full picture. Now from here, you can do your reporting and you can do your conversions on, on emails that are attached to the post. You know, I get the little block of text at the end of the post and all that stuff, but I'm gonna save that for another video because that'll take a little bit more time than I want to get you guys going and get creating on your campaigns. So I hope I didn't overwhelm you with the tech geek stuff. And, but it's very important that you use Google Analytics for your website, uh, for your business, so you can understand your audience and what they're interested in and see how successful you are with all those wonderful posts you're putting out there on social media. And so you can use that by using the URL Google Builder or the UTM Builder and check out Effin Amazing. I think that's a pretty good little plugin, little extension for you. All right, thanks for watching so much. Appreciate it. Be sure to give it a like and a subscribe for those who are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.